Mylet Pro versus Siltip. Which Anthropic supplement is better? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel where you can learn top secrets about nootropics. Subscribe below to start your journey. Today, we're gonna be comparing Mylet Pro, which I have here, to Siltip, which sadly I don't have anymore because during our recent test, me and my team have taken all the capsules and we only have left a couple of our products from natural stacks uh, that we compare Siltip with. But you know, I want to make this clear at the beginning. So before we look at the similarities between the products, differences between them, and before I share with you which one do I recommend, I wanna tell you a couple of things about Siltip and Mindlip, just so you get the whole idea about both nootropic supplements. So as you know, Mindlip Pro has been one of my favorite nootropic supplements for the past couple of years. Uh, in my opinion, it has one of the best formulas, which is safe, which you can use in the long term, which provides the benefits, most of the benefits that it promises. On the other hand, Siltip started a bit differently in the past, a couple of years ago, when I first tried out. I think it was like in 2016 or 17, when I had the first uh, encounter with Siltip. Um, and the whole brand, Natural Stacks, um, they kind of tried to differentiate uh, compared to other brands in a way to provide natural nootropics, to be very transparent to customers, to provide all additional information about where their products are sourced from, where the nootropics are sourced from. They really wanted to play an open game and that was one of their main advantages back then. However, in the past years we've seen uh, Mindly Pro really optimizing and developing their formula Whereas Siltip kind of stayed the same. They haven't optimized the formula at all, I think, in the past years. And this is kind of a big, big issue here. But anyhow, let's now check the similarities between both nootropic supplements. Oh, by the way, guys, have you tried any of those? So Siltip or Mylet Pro? Do let me know in the comment section below. So when I was preparing for this video and I was checking the similarities between both products, I was only able to find one real similarity. And this is that both supplements were developed to help you improve your mental performance. Mindlet Pro is known for that and Siltip is known for that as well. Sadly, there are no many other similarities because these products are very much different in, in all other important aspects. So let's talk about the differences between both products. So the first difference between Mindlet Pro and Siltip is that Mindlet Pro is so much more complex and more advanced formula. It contains, I think, around 11 uh, ingredients, very high quality in the tropics that really try to offer a long-term, short-term brain support uh, to help you improve your memory, your focus, your attention, your overall productivity. Whereas Siltip, on the other hand, it only contains a couple of ingredients. It lacks some of the most important adaptogen herbs. It lacks slants, mint mushroom, it lacks cognizant. So it, it lacks some really, really important nootropics that I personally, and I think most other biohackers want to have in their nootropic supplement. So that's one of the main differences between both products. Mindlet Pro is so much more advanced, more complex formula. The second difference is something that I mentioned before already. Mindlet Pro is constantly optimizing their formula. We have seen a couple of changes in the past years, whereas with Siltip, I think the formula stayed pretty much the same since the time I first tested it. That was, I think, 2016 or 17. And um, that's really a big uh, issue because we can see so much more research coming up, uh, so much more data. We have so much more know-how about uh, individual compounds. And today, all the supplements that are, that are coming on the market, or most of them, are much more complex to what Siltip is. And sadly, I don't understand why this is happening, but obviously the brand behind Siltip, Natural Stacks, they either don't see so much potential there or they just forgot about improving their formula, which is a big, big difference and a big, big issue for me. Another big difference is that Siltip has a couple of fillers in the formula. So there are like, you can see under other ingredients, a couple of other stuff that you don't really wanna see in the formula. I mean, if, if the formula is really so natural, as they say, you don't need all the fillers or you don't want to have all the fillers. Maybe like rice extract or something with rice can be in, but but that's a, that's it, you know? Um, and my lipper doesn't have it. So the formula is much more cleaner. It doesn't really have any other stuff in it that shouldn't be in the formula. And that's really important for me, especially for the long-term use. For the short-term use, honestly, I don't care that much, but for the long-term use, if, if you want to, take a supplement for weeks, months, or even years, 
then you don't want to have any additional ingredients in the formula. By the way, guys, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. Use a hashtag AskYourInception and I'll weekly answer some of the most interesting questions that I will receive. When it comes to the pricing, Siltip costs about 42, 43, 45 bucks uh, per month per one package, whereas Mindly Pro costs about 65 bucks. Um, now the price depends from where you come from, if you order one, two, three supplements, uh, if you subscribe, the price changes again. And obviously the brands are a bit experimenting all the time with the uh, pricing. So if you really wanna compare the price that it is right now, check out the links below and you, you'll get the right information available. Obviously, Siltip is more affordable, but I think it's kind of unfair to compare the pricing here because the difference in the formula is so big that it really doesn't make any sense. I know that some adaptogen herbs are very, very expensive, especially if they're high quality extracts, and Siltip doesn't have them, and Mindlipro has them. So I think the uh, Siltip, like the, the margin the guys have, are much higher compared to Mindlipro, but that's just based on my understanding and my know-how of nootropic supplements. By the way, guys, I have revealed seven special secrets about nootropics that no one else will tell you. To get my free handbook, check the links below. So, what is my final recommendation? Do I recommend taking Siltip, uh, maybe with any of other supplements that they develop, like uh, brain food, like GABA and so on, or do I recommend taking Mindly Pro? Obviously, for all the differences that we mentioned before, Mindly Pro is my favorite supplement here. There is no doubt about it. It's more advanced, it has a more complex formula, it is simply better in all aspects. Years ago, when I started reviewing the tropics, my opinion wouldn't be as strong as it is right now because we lacked some more data about the tropic supplements. We lacked other reviews, we lacked uh, scientific background there. Uh, but today, with all the know-how we have, with all the experience we have, so me and my team tried over 100 plus supplements, it is very clear that Mindly Pro is a better formula. Do I still recommend taking Siltip? Mm, yeah, I mean, you can try it out for certain things might work, but in my opinion, I would just switch to Mindly Pro or if you want any other similar nootropic stacks. So if you wanna order or learn more about Mindly Pro or even learn more about Silta, there are links below, check it out. If you wanna check any of my other favorite nootropic supplements, my best list of best nootropic supplements currently available on the market, check the links below. And don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Don't forget subscribing and I hope to see you soon.